Hello, this is Lane Boys RC, and today I want to show you our DIY RC car light controller. It works in conjunction with a standard free channel car radio remote control. In our case, it's a Hobby King HK310. The main lights are switched with uh, channel 3. One switch switches on the parking lights, another switch switches on the low beam followed by the fog lights and the high beam. In order to switch the light pattern down again, I just have to do a kind of a double click, one, two, one, two. A triple click switches all lights on or off. And four clicks switch on the hazards lights. On the back we have indicators, tail lights, brake lights and reverse. The uh, brake and reverse works uh, with the speed controller, so when I go forward and then brake, the brake lights engage. When I leave to neutral and go back, then the car drives reverse and brakes for a short time when you go back to neutral. In uh, this light kit, the uh, tail light and brake light are combined, so when I switch on the, the lights, you see them now, uh, the tail lights being half brightness, and when you brake, they go on full brightness, just as in a real car. One thing uh, that was important for us was realistic indicators. When you drive around, we didn't just want to have the indicators uh, on whenever you make a correction. So in our case, you have to be in neutral, and also the steering centered for two seconds, and then you push uh, the steering to one side, and then the indicators engage. The indicators run for about two seconds after going to neutral. When you're driving, then the indicators do not start automatically. You have to be in neutral for them to engage. Our light controller also has an output to control a steering wheel servo, a tiny servo that's built in the body and that connects to your main steering for more realism while driving. The system is set up in the master-slave configuration. There is one piece of electronics in the receiver box of the Axel SCX10 chassis, just under the battery here, together with the receiver. This one is basically the brain of the whole light controller unit. It reads the steering servo, the throttle channel and the channel 3, and processes them accordingly. And it also con controls all the lights that are in the bumpers of the chassis on the front and the back. There is then a single servo extension cord between the chassis and the body that transfers power and the control signals to a secondary light controller. The secondary controller is actually the same electronics as the main master, however it contains a different firmware. Uh, the single cable makes a very neat uh, cabling process as well as uh, easy to take apart uh, in the field and to maintain it. The slave light controller is controlling this tiny steering servo here that connects directly to the steering wheel and also all the wires are running around the body to the individual LEDs in the front and the back. For the wiring I used enamel wire which is very very tiny and isolated and easy to solder and is ideal for, the, for this kind of job because even a strand of eight wires is only about one millimeter in diameter. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, please post them below. And uh, please visit our blog because there you can find all the instructions, the schematics, more details, and even all the firmware so to build your own light controller. Thank you.